channel and Sandcastle Tip today. And today we're going to show you how we do the detailing on this arcade. And this arcade is, you know, essentially the aqueduct arcade. And it's going to be very ornate and very organic, which is kind of cool. And it's essentially the body of the water goddess. Stick with us, see how this turns out. Here's the very beginning of the very top of the aqueduct. And I've scored the surface here, and I'm gonna pinch on wet sand to create the completion of this capital detail. And I have created this score line underneath to create like a top cap. And I've created a trough because the aqueduct actually had a trough to transport the water. So I'm trying to create some reality or realness to it too. And I'm gonna let the base of this just dry out another day or so. I've been putting dry sand at the base to essentially soak up and firm up the sculpture before I pull out the plywood supports and actually make it freestanding. I'm hand pinching sand to create this um, detail, kind of a corbel like detail and then shaving it to its final shape. And it's turning out pretty cool. I think she's coming along. I'll have to study it a little bit and make sure I'm liking where it's headed and that I'm adequately getting the transition between the aqueduct and her. Interesting, I want it to be interesting. I like the energy she has. I've decided to meld the lower part of the aqueduct into her back. And I think that's a, a pretty interesting look. And I'm gonna explore that for a little bit and see how it turns out. So I've got her crown looking pretty interesting. I've got some nice cut through and I'm showing her hair coming into her head through the crown, which is a beautiful look. I'm going to let this arch dry um, and before I cut it out because of the kind of minor collapse I had over here, I'm going to be able to recover. I'll figure that out and as long as I don't have any more collapses, I think this is still moving in a great direction. I'm working on the main part of the arch that hits the oval platform. And <clears throat> I'm gonna score the surface to receive some pinched on material. And by scoring it, it has a much better chance of sticking. It's almost like clay when you do ceramics, if you've ever done ceramics where you score the surface really good. And then I'll spray it and I'll take the wet stuff and I'll pinch the wet stuff on. brick and block detail where the aqueduct is. And I'm really pretty darn excited about it. It's gonna be amazingly cool. And then it'll fade away as she turns into her and morphs into the aqueduct to get over these two ravines with water, almost like the Terminator, turned into liquid guy and then into her tail. Very, very, very cool. I like it. I like this little mini arch that kind of leads out in the back. And I, I'm liking the brick pattern that I'm getting on this. And as you go further. 
further back, you get this very aqueduct feeling and how I transition it into our body is gonna be a lot of fun. Very, very cool. in the detail as the arcade transitions into the water guards. The hum humanoid part in the front. And I'm gonna wait till there's daylight and take a closer look at this and brush it and blow it and clean it up. Because it's hard to know if I'm getting the right depths and the right textures and how far to take it at night. So I'm going to be patient and see what it looks like in the morning. I'm going to work on her necklace and earrings tomorrow. And some more on transitioning the duct, aqueduct or architecture into her body. And then I think the biggest push needs to be to start to get the tail going so that I can start to see the whole thing and understand how to solve this last arch related to the tail. She's your supervisor. She's our supervisor, Scruffy Building Department Inspector and Safety Inspector too, Absolutely. sure. Absolutely, safety yeah, and is really important when it comes to a bridge. That's right, we don't want to collapse and we've got this all ready to start to figure out how the tail is going to incorporate into our underwater goddess. It's looking good. I'm happy. Are you happy? Oh, it's beautiful. Yes. Very. Thank you, Sharon. <laughs> up. Um, no two blocks are alike. No two blocks are vertical or horizontal. So <clears throat> I literally didn't use a level for any of this. I've turned these kind of corbel details underneath the archway that gives it a real interesting look and very organic. And that was the goal is to have this arch really be a dynamic, uh, interesting element. It's where she emerges onto land and has to turn into kind of like a Terminator-like rigid structure. And when she goes back into water, she's got this beautiful tail. And when she goes back into water, she becomes her face and her kind of humanoid-like structure. And, and this arcade detailing really um, brings it all together and creates kind of the foundation to the sculpture. If you liked our sandcastle tip of the day on how we created the detailing on this aqueduct, remember to smash the like button. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming content. We've got some fun stuff to be able to share with you. Can't wait to share it. Until next time, we'll see you soon. Bye.